Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Samuel Adams Winter Lager in the Can. Now I reviewed this beer several years ago out of the bottle and uh, somebody told me that they changed the recipe on this one a little bit. I'm not sure if that's actually true or not because I don't see any evidence or reference to uh, the recipe being changed. But this one was in the can so I figured I'd uh, re-review it since it had been uh, several years ago since I've done it. Uh, this one does have a best uh, by date on the bottom of it, which is April of 2014, and we're just in November, so I think we're good. A very colorful can with a fireplace and a couple of beers sitting on a table. Uh, very nice graphics on this can. So uh, let's get on with this one. Uh, Samuel Adams, uh, the Boston Lager, was what got me into the craft beer. Uh, tastings and trying and uh, the, I kind of thought when I first drank that that was the hoppiest thing I'd ever had and and now I can barely taste the hops in that beer so the palate has advanced quite a bit since those days so uh, let's see what let's see what we got to say about this one uh, this is of course brewed by the Boston Beer Company and they're out of uh, uh, out of Massachusetts and the availability on this beer is winter the ABV is 5.60 on this beer uh, the glass wire, you could use the pint, Becker, the Stein, the mug, the Stange, which is a tall, slender glass. I've got my Pilsner glass here to pour this one in today. And uh, like I told you a couple days ago, uh, Rake Beer, our beer advocate, has gone away from uh, giving you what the uh, food pairings for this beer is. So I've downloaded a little chart here. And uh, looking at the lagers or the winter lagers, I don't think it has it here. And this is actually brewed with a little bit of wheat too, I think, like a Bach beer. The, uh, the, it says the amber lagers have a certain classification and the wheat beers have a certain classification. Uh, I don't see, uh, I don't see the box listed on here. So how they have a Wiesenbach, which is a wheat. I'm just going with the pale Bach. And it says here uh, that the uh, spicy food, uh, Thai or Korean barbecue. And it says great with fried chicken. <laughs> Don't have any fried chicken to, to eat with this. So uh, uh, this beer is not recommended for extended cellar. It's been a low ABV uh, lager. So let's pop a top on this one. And get it into the glass and see if I can taste any differences or or anything special about the recipe. Mm. All right, Let me get this around where y'all can see it. All right, over into the light. Uh, that. Pour, we got all, about two fingers of head on that pour. It is a rich caramel color. Almost a red tint to it also. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Looks like it's fairly well carbonated. It does in the glass too with that monster head. Let's get a nose on this one. Just a slight hint of some nutmeg in there. It's got a rich caramely malty backbone on this one. And just a slight citru citrusy, easy for me to say, citrusy hop smell to this. It smells very pleasant, very sweet in the glass. And the head is dissipating pretty quick. We're down to about a finger. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. I'm tasting a little coriander, maybe a little ginger in there. Very easy drinking. I'm not giving any alcohol whatsoever. Very caramely toppy 
toffee-like taste. Very smooth. You could probably session a whole six pack of these things. Very rich. Very enjoyable. Has that lager, grassy taste to me, but with the darker malt in there, it has. It's added a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of richness to it, too. So, very pleasant. It's uh, right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up. Let the other half taste it. I'm not tasting a bit, a uh, big difference from what I reviewed the last time a couple years ago. So, it tastes very, very much the same. It may have just a little bit more maltiness and just a tad sweet, sweeterness. Sweeterness? Is that a word? Tad sweetness to it. But still kind of very similar to what I, what I remember it being uh, when I did it the last time, guys. So stick around. I'll be right back, and we'll do the final chug and the final comments on this one. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very enjoyable beer. Giving a hint of cinnamon, toffee, caramel, a little bit of ginger, a rich roasty malt. Very sweet. Not overly sweet. Very enjoyable, guys. Let's do the final chug. I would prefer this over any macro lager any day. Very nice. To me, it's got a slight saltiness to it, too. Very nice. Lip smacking nice. Very tasty, guys. Got the date on the bottom of the can when they want you to have the, the beer buys. So very reminiscent of their labels. It has when you uh, enjoy by uh, notched in the side of the label. So, very nice. Uh, I respect. Uh, Sam Adams beers quite a bit because like I said they're the ones that got me into craft beer so very tasty beer this one is uh, very enjoyable so if you had this one give me some comments back on this one guys I, I'm gonna give it a seven which is a B plus I think it's definitely a B beer uh, right on the verge of being an A beer I'm not much into the lagers but this has a nice wheat caramel toffee taste to me which makes it very easy drinking very nice, very tasty. So, uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Alright, let's go see what the other guys have to say. I don't always agree with what they say. Uh, sometimes they're a little higher than, than I think they should be. Sometimes they're lower than I think they should be. So, with that being said, we'll go over to Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says 82, which is in a good range. I personally think that number is just a tad low. And that's just my opinion, but... Uh, very enjoyable uh, winter lager as far as I'm concerned. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer, wow. Rate Beer says 65 overall and 78 in the style. I disagree with that. I think it's a lot better beer than they're giving them credit for. Uh, I'm sure there are some more potent uh, lagers. Uh, and, that's the, and that's the trend a lot of times. I mean, if it ain't got a thousand IBUs and and, and uh, blowing your palate out of your mouth a lot of these reviewers uh, will say it's not any good uh, this this is a good beer it definitely is a well made beer it's definitely a tasty beer I mean if you're a hop head or a, or a stout drinker I mean you're you're going to think this is fairly light but if you're into the lagers especially uh, the winter lager which has a little darker malt and a little roastier taste to me uh, I enjoyed it. So, guys, give me some comments back on this and whether you've had the Sam Adams Winter Lager, whether you like it, didn't like it. I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. For a guy that don't drink a lot of lagers anymore, it was very tasty. All right, guys, hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe. Let's take a walk tomorrow and see what's in the fridge. See you then.